Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and I'm back with another Steam Deck gameplay video. Um, so uh, again, I'll just get my disclaimer out of the way here that I've been doing recently and, and that is that um, you know I still continue to look for options of, of ways to record uh, better. Uh, I did see one one another yes well a few days ago um, but it just seemed far more complicated than what I was going to be able to try to do um, you know again hopefully at some point in time um, we'll get an easy way to use like OBS or something to record from gaming mode um, as far as I know there that doesn't exist right now and uh, you know so if you want to show a game using gaming mode then you know really the only way I know to do it right now is is to record like this and I don't have uh, a fancy camera you know I use just an external webcam uh, so I'm, I'm you know doing doing the best that I can with the with the equipment that I have uh, just in the in the hopes that it helps somebody um, if they're looking you know to see which games play and and how things function and stuff like that on the Steam Deck so um, so for this video, uh, I want to do, it is the full game, it's called uh, Legion's Crawl, so Legion's Crawl, um, it, uh, it is the full game, it is from, uh, the developer and publisher is uh, Turn, uh, Turnspender, or Turnspender, and I think it's, uh, it's from 2018, and it has mostly positive reviews, 77% out of 40 reviews. So I mean, there's not a ton of there's not a ton of reviews, but um, it, it's not bad. And so uh, let's just give this a try and see see what happens. It is according to Valve right now. It is unknown as far as whether or not it's supported. Um, I did go into it just long enough to uh, see if it would boot up. Which uh, which it does. So this is this is not uh, uh, a you don't use the D-pad or the track or the joystick. You use the in-game mouse pointer. Uh, so you're using the trackpad or the um, the right joystick. Uh, new game game record tutorial configure achievement credit uh, exit. So I'm going to go into configure. I'm going to use the right trigger the R2. Uh, turn this down a little bit. So we've got choice of language, we've got resolution, which I generally don't touch on the Steam Deck. Um, you have windowed uh, as an option, VSync, hardware cursor, uh, display help key on the screen. I have checked that off because that is helpful for configuring controls if you need it. Uh, display game time uh, is off. Uh, required click to move when starving, uh, play ambient creature sound, and then there's movement speed, uh, normal, accelerated, uh, quick weight speed, master volume, music, sound effects, key bindings. So um, this one, hmm, this will be interesting. We'll have to see how this works. Uh, so this does, uses the W A hmm, X. They're using X for down, down. That's that's curious. So uh, so Q E is diagonals up. Uh, C and Z are diagonals down a and d are side w is forward x is backwards that's curious um, interact is the left mouse button move is the right right mouse button and then we have uh, inventory f for fire space throw tab okay this has actually got a lot of controls to it um, hmm interesting uh, skill reload left shift for quick weight name take all is G screenshot hints hmm well let's see if we can get access to that um, in the game so let's see what the tutorial does so that was configure I don't see any other options besides that so let's see what tutorial does uh, okay so F1 is help so I don't know if anything is mapped to F1 of course we wouldn't know uh, to move around, move the mouse pointer uh, to the direction you'd like to move and press right mouse button. Press tab to switch between normal and accelerated moving speed. These speeds can be adjusted in configuration. Alternatively, you can move with the Q, W, E, A, D, Z, X, well, well all those letters. So, <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so how do I get rid of that? Oh, there we go. Uh, interesting. So, okay. So I can do it this way by I'm I'm holding the left 
trigger, so the L1 button. I'm holding the L1 button. So that that's that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. That's that's not bad. So now how do I get rid of this? Um, hmm. Let's see. No, well, that's movement. Hmm. So all right. So um, F1 is help. I, I guess maybe that gets rid of it. So let's find out. Why aren't you pulling up the game button? There we go. They changed something on me. All right, so controller settings, edit layout. I seriously doubt anything is the left button, uh, is, is F1 button. So let's go down here to, okay, so L4, L5, those are all empty. So how about we'll do um, L4 is gonna be the F1 key. All right. And then we'll see if that helps. Yep, there we go. Well, that actually, that opened it up. Uh, I for inventory. Okay, so that does press help. That's interesting. So press it again. Um, okay, but now I don't know how to get rid of this. Uh, press tab to switch. I don't care about that. Hmm. Zoom. Okay. That might be the tab button. Um, let's find out. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that was the tab button because now I'm moving extra fast. All right, um, but I don't know how to get out of this this uh, screen. Uh, okay, so oh maybe I have to move. Oh maybe I have to get out. Okay. Um, Okay, all right, so I guess this window doesn't go away. It just it just continues to be there. Um, you will find a lot of chests in your path. To open it, move next to it and press the left mouse button. So that's L2, I believe. Then equip what you found. Press I to open inventory screen. Click item icon, then click uh, appropriate equipment slot, or simply right-click the gear. Always look for items of better gear uh, and better gears to add to your your challenge. So the the text is a little small. It's it's not it's not so bad that I would have to read the magnifier, use the magnifier, but it is a little small. Here's a mini map up here. You've got your level uh, one. I guess one F is first floor. Uh, zero fifty XP. My life is forty. My soul is forty. My N U T R uh, nutrition. Oh, okay. Nutrition. Ninety-four of a hundred percent. When you hover over things, they don't show you anything. Um, so let's go. I'm, I'm standing beside. I'll press the L1 or L2. Uh, nope. Um, so highlight it. Nope. How about if we put R2? Uh, hmm. There we go. So I, I highlighted it and pressed R2. So we've got loot. Uh, so this this does pop up a description. So I've got a long sword, and it does give you the description, uh, item, value, weight, uh, damage, attack, crit chance, crit modifier, and range. And then leather armor plus one. Again, it gives you information plus uh, physical resistance, heat resistance, cold resistance, shock resistance. That's kind of cool. So um, we have a take all button of G or a, a close escape. So I'm going to click take all. Um, all right. Now open inventory. I don't know which is mapped to the I button. So let's find out. Um, e, R, and F key. So space, space, E, R, and F. Space, E, R, and F. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to press the F1. So space, E, R, and F. That None of those are used, so <laughs> that's interesting. So I need I for inventory, K for skill. Um, well, I do I use space. Space is wait for a turn. Um, Okay, and then reload. So we'll, we'll do Y for inventory, X for skill, um, and then we'll leave the the weight, and then we'll do a reload. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's go here. All right, edit layout again. 
So A is that space key. Um, y is going to be so again. I don't. I, I've never had luck editing these keys, so I just delete them. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. In other words, instead of rename command, I'm going to remove command, and then I'm going to replace it with the I for inventory. And then uh, the X button, uh, I'm going to make that skills. So I'm going to remove the command, and then I'm going to replace it with K for skills. And then uh, B, I'm going to remove that, and uh, I'm going to replace it with the R for reload. Okay, and then I'm going to leave space the way it is. All right, so we're going to leave that now. Uh, okay, so I did that, and now there's my inventory. Okay, so now this opens up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, uh, let's see. So left mouse button to grab drop, right mouse button to use drop one, T to throw, N to name uh, unidentified item. Hmm, interesting. Um, left shift plus left mouse button to take half, control plus left mouse button to dispose of entire sta uh, of attack, control plus right mouse button to dispose uh, one at a time. So this might be something where I have to map some of those. And um, so I have ranged, ammo, main hand, body, offhand, neck, ring, and then weight. Uh, I can, it says weight 0, 0.0 and it says 4.0. I hope that's not the only amount I can carry because that would be horrible. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to try to click that, move it up to body, and click it again. Yep, there we go. So I click once and it picks it up, move it, and then I click the, the R2 again and it, and it equips it. Uh, I've got my bread, and over here for stats, I have strength, agility, uh, I'm not sure what that says. Um, MGC maybe? MGC maybe, and, and then in, in intelligence, INT, so they're all zero. Life recovery, soul recovery, um, main, let's see, damage, attack, critical, and then, oh, that's my main hand, offhand, damage, attack, critical, range, damage, attack, critical, so that it's broken up. Um, magic power, defense, DEF, it must be defense, resistance, physical, heat, and then I guess click and drag, yep, and then it moves down, so you have gold, no, cold, sorry, cold, shock, smith, and alchemy, all right, so those are um, all the different things there, so press that again to get out of there, and then uh, X was skill, so we have a skill menu, I have melee combat, uh, and then I have to learn, to learn the skill, you need skill points, gunslinger, throwing, endurance, finesse, and berserk, so those are skills, and B, I can't remember what B was. B was, oh, reload. Uh, okay, so we've, we're, we're going so far. Um, all right, so again, we press the, uh, the trigger. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Yeah, L1 and use this way to move. Okay. Uh, an enemy, but this is a turn-based game, so they won't do anything until you make a move first. Close in by walking towards the enemy or press space key to wait for it to come closer. So A is the space key. Uh, press left mouse button on adjacent enemy to attack. Alternatively, you can use move keys too. Lost life is recovered over time, but don't take too much time because enemies respawn and you will starve without food. Yeah, I'm down to 92%. Uh, you can hold L shift, left shift, to wait higher speed uh, when enemies are not around. To wait higher speed when enemies are not around. Okay, so I'm going to ho hover over him. And I'm going to click the L2 and see what happens. Nope. Okay, so now I'm going to hover over him and click the R2. There we go. Now I attacked. Uh, let's see. All right, and so I'm going to do it again. Okay, and I killed him. Um, all right, so I killed him. And then uh, I gained a little bit of XP. I only got hurt a little bit. Uh, okay, so all right, so we're good there. Okay. All right, I gotta get used to that. I gotta get used to that. I gotta, I gotta take my finger off the L2 button to stop moving. Um, you will find a gun and ammunition in the chest. Auto 
I mean, ammo is auto equip, so just equip the gun. Before firing the gun, you must reload by pressing R, which is now mapped to B. For this gun, you need to spend two turns total. Look bottom right corner for your gun's loading status and ammo count. All right. If your gun is loaded, see the cursor on the target. Oh, set the cursor on the target and press the F key. Hmm. Well, F key. That's interesting. I don't have an F key yet. So uh, let's let's open this chest first. All right. So there we go. Uh, pistol, and then bullets. All right. So we're going to take all, and then we're going to go into inventory, and we're, I think we're going to see if I can put that in my offhand. Nope, I cannot put it in my offhand. I'm going to put it in my main hand. Uh, nope, I can't do that. So how about if I take... Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's ranged. So put it in the ranged spot. Okay, cool. That's cool. Uh, the, um, the ammo's already equipped. Okay, so now um, he's way over there. I don't know... How do I do this? Oh, R for reload. So let's R. Okay, so it's one of one. So now I'm going to wait. Okay, so... Oh, how come I'm not doing that? Okay, there we go. Maybe I have to press reload twice. That's interesting. I thought it would just automatically do it. Now, um, I'm pressing on him, so I'm going to see if I can just press the L2 or whether I actually have to press the F button to fire. Or F key. Yep, out of range. So, okay, so I do need the F key. So... I think I might have remapped that. Um, I don't know if one of these was the F key or not, but I'm going to fix it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the R4 button the F key. Sure, why not? Okay, there's that. And now I'm hovering... There, I shot him. Cool. That works perfectly fine. Now, uh, I might have to play around with these uh, controller configurations later um, to optimize what I want to do for controls. But, okay. So, now we get that. So, we know reload uh, R4 is my F key for shooting. Uh, let's see. So, now I'm going to walk around. Um, okay. I don't see anything else. Got like made a little mini map up there. <laughs> Trying to walk so slower. You learned ability zap. Let's use it. Using abilities are learned by leveling. Uh, usually, abilities are learned by leveling up and choosing related skills. Set the cursor on the target and press. I think that's the one key for this for this case. Look, look left side of the screen for available abilities and assigned keys. So one is zap over here. That's interesting. Casting ability costs soul. As life, soul is restored over time. So that's like mana. Okay, so um, I'm going to I'm hovering over him. Now I need a one key, which I don't have. So I'm going to go over to the controller settings. I'm going to edit layout. Um, I don't need my joystick, my right joystick. So we're going to make the right joystick work as a direction pad. So now, um, let's see, up is going to be zap. So up is going to be the one. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, I'm hovering over him. I'm going to press up for one. Out of range. Okay. So how about if I take a step? Okay, there we go. Now I'll hover over him, see if I can do it. Out of range two. Okay, how about if I try reload? Okay, and then I'm going to try it again. Out of range two. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the one key, right? I'm pretty sure that says one. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that says one. So... Ah, so, all right, so let the L1 key zoom, zooms uh, out, out, R1 zooms in, okay, so that's fine. Now, um, I'm not, I'm not zapping, I don't know how close zap is. Zap, deal small amount of shock damage, a range of two, 
Oh, I see. One, two. Ah, okay. So I'm going to try to reload again. Now he's within distance. Now I'm going to try to zap him. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I did that. All right, I'm down to 30 of 50. Okay, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, all right, now. Okay, I don't see anything else there. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's right. I'm using this. I'm using this. Um, that's weird. Um, I forgot. I guess I was using this to, to do some movement, too. Okay. So, all right. Time to learn how to use thrown items. This time you will find a scroll and two wands in the chest. Open inventory interface, push I, and right click to use item. If you want to throw item, set the pointer on the item and press T. Hmm, okay. Um, without identification, items are still effective. Save identification if you can. You can name unidentified items by pressing N to keep track of their effect. Okay. Oh, and um, guys, so let's see. Um, scroll of identification or identify. Wand of fireball. Wand of lightning. Okay, three and five. I wonder if those are the charges. We're going to take all. Uh, okay, time to learn how to use throw items. So open inventory, press I, and click and right click to use an item. Um, I don't want to throw an item yet. So let's let's open my inventory, and then right click on. So that's three and that's five. I don't know if that's range or if that's Let's find out. I'm going to right click. Nope, that takes it. Okay, use. Oh, okay, I see. So I left clicked. I, I did the L2 button. Use Wand of Lightning on these little guys here. So I'm going to press again and see what happens. Nope. So let's we'll do this again. So press that, and now we'll use the R2. There we go. Well, look at that. Zippy zippy. Um, all right, now I did that, and I don't want to. I don't want to use all that up, so I'm going to do the firearm, which was uh, F uh, was the R4. There we go. Shot him, and I leveled up. Look at me being all level uppy and everything. Cool. Um, all right, now uh, so it doesn't. It's not giving me any hints. Uh, I'm going to reload and reload. There we go. And then let's click the level up and see what happens. Click the arrow. No. Okay. Uh, so I'll put. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So now I have um, uh, melee combat, combat. Solid arm. Let's start from the basic. Hold your weapon. Uh, plus three strength. Uh, plus one agility. Plus five melee damage. Again, th this is a little tiny to read, but it's not terrible. Um, Bullseye. You should aim at where you want to shoot. Plus one strength. Plus three agility. Plus five percent range damage. Plus seven uh, range attack. Harmful throw. Throwing isn't a combat move until you make it uh, so with effort. So this gives you a whole bunch of stuff. Plus three strength. Plus one agility. Plus twenty-five percent throwing damage. Plus one throw base damage. Plus one throw range. Plus ten throw attack. Endurance. Toughness. Uh, withstand the damage and outlive your adversary. Plus four strength, plus seven max life. Dexterity. Dexterity didn't make it to the major attribute like agility, but it's still good. Help combat. Uh, helps combat like it. It. It used. 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 Used to be. Uh, that's a little hard to read. Plus three agility. Plus one intelligence. Plus ten percent dual wielding. Oh, negative ten percent dual wielding penalty. Plus three attack. Plus three defense. And then offensive. After all, you are the one who decided to fight. Take initiative. Plus four strength. Plus twelve percent melee damage. Plus five attack. Plus negative seven defense. Negative ten magic power. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm just going to click one. I'm just going to click click uh, toughness. All right. So now I should have more hit points. I'm going to get rid of skill. Okay. There we go. Uh, now let's see if there's more to the tutorial. Okay. This is basic so far. I've got my I've got my um, attack. Uh, all set. I've got my gun reloaded. 
Okay, what is what happened? You're after earning X, enough XP, you gain a level. Leveling up uh, improves various stats and gives you a skill point. Oh, it did give me more soul too. Um, press K uh, key to access skill interface, which I already did, and choose the skill path, which I already did. Uh, when you start the game, you choose the six skill paths. When you start the game, you choose the six skill paths. I I didn't choose anything, but maybe that's later. Uh, some skill path. Oh, maybe that's, uh, this is just a tutorial, maybe that's in the regular game. Some skill path has mutually exclusive skills. Build your characters to complete your, uh, your plan or adapt to the situation. Okay. All right. Okay, what's that? Each floor has one portal. Interact them, uh, interact them like you do with a chest and move to the next floor. In this case, you will leave the tutorial real adventure awaits. Um, so I, I will say there's a few grammar things in here, but nothing horrible. So, okay, I'm going to move up. There we go. And it exit. So uh, we're going to go into new game just to see what happens. Um, choose a hero. So Randy is the default. Play with the default, play with the default rule of this game. Uh, difficulty. We have tourist, Initiate, uh, Adventure, which is default, um, <laughs> default, you are supposed to lose until you know what's going on. Some items are cursed, and ambulance rings, wands, and equipments are unidentified. Ah, I see. So the easier ones, um, okay, and then Veteran, and then Legend. Okay, so there's uh, five different difficulty levels. You have six skill paths. Um, let's see, what do we get up here? Uh, Aaron, glass cannon, every damage is doubled, kill before you die. <laughs> um, uh, Maria, real time hunger, nutrition is reduced in real time instead of spending turns, zero nutrition equals instant death. Oh, that's not good. Um, Claudio, DIY, you cannot loot or buy any equipments, but one anvil and alchemy station per floor is guaranteed and starts with some ingredients. Okay, uh, Imani, take all. No one avoids anything. Uh, attacks always connect. Condition effect chance is 100%. Uh, Ka, static damage. Uh, damages have no random spread. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and then Randy, play with the default rule of this game. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so then let's see what the skill path. Select skill path. So we've got, whew, we've got a bunch to choose from. So we've got melee combat, and I'm not going to read all, I'm not going to read the descriptions of all these, but melee combat, gunslinger, throwing, endurance, finesse, berserk, blacksmith, arcane engineer, spirituality, spellblade, dark magic, electromancy, uh, cryomancy, pyromancy, survival, cooking, roguery, alchemy, willpower, healing, and stealth. Um, that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. And I, I don't know what the history button is. It doesn't seem anything. But you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna randomly pick. Um, let's see. Definitely want uh, roguery, um, uh, gunslinger. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Blacksmith, uh, engineering. I mean, I got, I got two more. Stealth. Uh, you know what? We'll just do healing. I want to see what happens. So that's those six done. And there's that. There's that. Confirm. Uh, okay. So now you're, you're. It's, it's in the start here. Uh, okay. Oh, so I want to stop though. So this, this kind of gave me an idea. So if I click up here, yep, it gives me a chance. Uh, configure back to title quick game game is saved automatically I'm gonna quit game okay so that's legions crawl and from the looks of it it should play on the steam deck from what I can see um, you definitely would have to configure the controls but there is a tutorial which gives you quite a bit of the controls you can need to configure and then there's also the um, the uh, uh, the configuration option in the beginning which gives you all the controls and there should be plenty of buttons on the steam deck to to configure them for you know to to get everything all set up so like because you can change the the um, joystick actually you don't need either joystick so you could change both joysticks to um, 
to work as D-pads. And then, of course, you could use this D-pad. I haven't even tried this. I haven't even tried to configure the um, left trackpad. Uh, I haven't even tried that for any games. So, uh, again, this, this does look like it should play on the um, Steam Deck. It actually looks like a fun little game. Um, I'm definitely have to come back and, and, and try this out some more. And you would have to configure, but configuration is super, super easy. So, um, all right. So I'm going to stop right there. And, um, you know, again, uh, I don't have as much time anymore, folks. Uh, I, I will try to get as, as, you know, many videos up as I can, um, you know, uh, but but I, I will definitely not be able to get up, get up as many as I have in the past um, just because I, I don't have as much uh, quiet time space to get things up. Um, but, uh, you know, if these videos are helpful, I, I hope these are helpful. If they are helpful um, or if you just at least appreciate the, the time and effort that goes into them, you know, please like, subscribe, uh, get notifications, leave comments. Um, I do try to respond to all the comments. And, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, you know, this, it's been, yesterday was Thanksgiving for where I am. So, uh, you know, hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, it is the weekend coming up. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. And, uh, you know, until I can get another video up, um, in the meantime, happy gaming. And uh, I will talk to everybody later. Bye.